We are making shrimp egg rolls. If you um went to a smaller Chinese restaurant, you know, kind of like the Chinese takeout joint, they're all across the country. Egg rolls is a staple in there that started up in, I believe, you know, years ago in New York and traveled out throughout the country. People traditionally eat it with a little duck sauce or hot mustard, so we're gonna do a little bit of that today as well. And we're gonna throw a little bonus in and make a chicken cheesesteak egg roll. Welcome everyone. Hello, Hi. how are you guys tonight? My husband and I are here. We are ready to rock and roll tonight. Yes. Try you something are, different tonight. You are in for a special treat tonight. It seems like a lot of ingredients, but it's not, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. And it's fairly quick. It's it's not too, you know, long. Well, it's uh, quick, but it's got some steps. Yeah, it has some steps. Um, you know, with Mr. Roberts here, we always gonna have a lot of steps. <laughs> Nothing well, that's what makes it that's what makes it good. <laughs> you know, think about it though, if you um went to a smaller Chinese restaurant, you know, kind of like the Chinese takeout joint, and they're all across the country. Egg rolls is a staple in there. That started up in, I believe, you know, years ago in New York and traveled out throughout the country. People traditionally eat it with a little duck sauce or hot mustard, so we're going to do a little bit of that today as well. But I don't think people realize how easy they are to make, especially since it's a convenience, it's inexpensive. You can go and grab it for a dollar most of the time. But the thing is, and they might charge an extra quarter for the one that has shrimp in it. What do you notice about it? You don't get that much Money shrimp. shrimp. No. So we want to make it at home and we want to put some shrimp in there that you can see, taste, and know that you actually got something in there. Yes, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. For myself, I'll be kind of learning. I, I'm learning because I did watch you kind of, sort of. Yeah, you kind of, <laughs> sort of did. And you, and you did make an egg roll one day at dessert. I did. I, so I made roll, a spring roll without well, that's, the shrimp. I'm glad you said that because I wasn't really thinking about it at the exact moment but spring roll and egg roll the difference is with the weight of the dough so when you make things with spring roll it's really light like, yeah. so if you're going to put some meat in there or something hearty you don't want the spring roll because it's going to come Brick apart it. yeah, yes Brick. Brick. so you could do some desserts with the egg roll and um uh, i know people that do like a banana foster type thing where they put bananas in there and a little cinnamon and sugar yeah. brown sugar and that tastes really good with ice cream yeah. as well so you don't always have to do something uh savory you could do something sweet with it yes um the staple of most egg rolls when you have you know the type that we were talking about is cabbage but when you're making an egg roll have fun once you learn how to make it i guess what is the basic or traditional way then after that have fun put what you like in it substitute things mix it around the the goal is not to have anything in there really wet because it'll burst open in the fryer mm -hmm. and make sure you seal your edges really good you can seal your edges two different ways you can mix a little cornstarch and water and rub it around the outside corners or you can do a, a little bit of an egg, egg wash like what we're going to do put egg around the outside edges so for our shrimp roll that we're going to make tonight we have uh, salt we have garlic we have a little bit of granulated garlic garlic and a little bit of minced garlic we have of course cabbage we have sesame oil, bean sprouts, onions, we have carrots, and we have Chinese celery. So this is regular celery, that's yeah. Chinese celery. So uh, two different celeries here. Let me see. All right, so well, that's this... the regular, this is your Chinese celery. The Chinese celery has a lot more flavor. So I'm gonna get a, a stalk on here. Usually I've seen Chinese uh, celery a lot longer than this though. So why, oh, so I guess it grows more? It has... it, a different growing process, a different, um, mm -hmm different line so it has a little bit different flavor uh you how about you taste one I you compare to, you want me to taste it yeah so i want you to taste the chinese one that's one you didn't have so does the flavor taste a little stronger or more intense to you nah, i think you it taste does a little bit to this one you wash this i right? wash both of them okay you yeah. see how that celery flavor from the chinese one lingers a yeah. lot more yeah we're right. eating before the show. We need to start using that for potato salad. So, yeah, you could definitely incorporate into some of your other meals. Save all your stems. We talked about that early on in some of our shows. Save all your um your extra stems that you cut off. Save that for your stocks. Yes. We have, of course we have shrimp. Mm -hmm. Um, we have eggs. We have onion. We have carrot. We have our shrimp roll. Now we bought this one or I'm sorry, our egg roll wrappers. All right. 
So these egg roll wrappers, they come in the same pack as the spring roll wrappers. So make sure you get Ingredient. egg roll wrappers. And this is what, 40 in there? You get a lot in here. I think it's, it's about 32. Oh, one of the packs is at 40. Mm, okay, 32. 32, so you okay. get 30. And about how much is this? This is about $6. Oh, okay. That's so it's very affordable. Yeah. And it's already ready. Now, you wanted to be a master chef. I guess you could take some time, roll your uh, egg roll wrapper out, and you're going to see they're nice and thin. They come already pre-floured. When we roll them, we want to put the flour side down to the counter when we roll them, and we're going to start on an angle and roll them out. All right. So those are already ready to go. You can't beat that. Six bucks takes a lot of the labor out. I'm going to use some um, white pepper. You could use black pepper if you want it. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of adobo, um, soy sauce. I'm also going to put in my wife can't cook uh, whatever you like season because I've been putting that on everything. And of course, and I got some eggs there. What we have here is some. Uh, and we have some soy sauce here. Look like some shine, different type of soy sauce. Datsu Puti. Okay. Well, this is the soy sauce we use. It. So we have more than one type of soy sauce in the house today. Yes. Um, because we would make a lot of different things with soy sauce. We eat a lot of dumplings. So and this is the rest of our rice vinegar, right? Rice vinegar. So all those type of ingredients are going to just add a lot more flavor. Um, I did try to do a sample one because I'm relatively new to making this as well, and I taste it before I um. You know, wrap it in. So taste your ingredients when you have it all prepared before you wrap it. And I thought, hey, I need a little bit more something. So I put a little bit of more salt in there. I put a little white pepper in there. And then I added a little sesame oil. So if you Google a recipe, you may not see sesame oil in there. But when I put that sesame oil in there, it gave me that flavor that I was looking for. That tiny Chinese takeout joint flavor. Okay. All right. So then we're going to make some duck sauce and we're going to make our own hot mustard. All okay. right, so let's oh, get you're started. Fancy. You're fancy. Okay, so let's get started. What do, and I what guarantee, do you too, once you try this hot mustard, you're not going to want to go back to the hot mustard in the Yeah, back. I tried it the other day. I tried it the other day. All right, so, so we got to get some things ready. The shrimp are going to be quick, so we don't have to worry about them. Let's put them away for a second. All of these other ingredients are going to go in after we uh, cook our... So you need to put the cabbage in Cabbage. There, right? We got to cut up some celery real quick, and we have to put our carrots in here. Now, the, the thing we got to remember is moisture is the enemy of this project, right, or this product. So we don't want a lot of water. We know that cabbage holds a lot of water. Yeah. All right, so I've got me a cloth here. After I get done straining it, I'm going to put it in this cloth, and I'm going to wring out all of that moisture. It's a quick way of getting rid of the moisture. Also, we're going to chill the product. So the shrimp and the cabbage in our vegetable mixture, after we boil it quickly, I'm talking 30, 45 seconds, we're gonna put it in an ice bag because we want it to stop cooking. Okay. Got it? Okay. All right, so um, let me grab something to get the carrots ready real quick. Okay. Oh, beans. All right, so our recipe calls, no, put it in here. I'm gonna put it right in the bowl. Our recipe, it calls for one carrot. So I shaved my carrots already on the outside and washed them. There's two different ways you could do this. You well, Actually, there's a whole lot of ways you can do it. You could buy, I'm pretty sure you could probably buy a coleslaw mix and that will work well. But I cut my cabbage up and washed it earlier. Or you could put it in a food processor. But as you can see, I have some nice strips here. See, it's not real thin. Mm -hmm. so. I didn't want it to shred it too much, right? I wanted to hold this texture. It cooks really fast. It wilts really fast. Now I can use for my carrot, I can use a zester. And as you can see, it looks really good, right? Real That's easy. Real easy yeah. That's a real easy way. Or, you know, you told me stop saying Julianne all the time, <laughs> right? So yeah. I could have did a Julianne way, right? The same way I cut it, the same way I did the cabbage. Or I could use a potato color and I can slice them that way. And I kind of like that way, because it's quick, you see? Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, and I they're did- They're a little bigger, the strips are, but- they're a little, They are a little bigger. I thought that when I did the- There might be something I could try to do. Let me see. Here, come on. When I did the zester the other day, I thought that was like amazing. I'm like, oh, that's really quick. But before I zested, um, used the zester, I took and used the potato peeler 
And then I didn't even think like, oh, that was a lot more easier. Yeah, so now how, tell me when the, how much we need. We need that whole thing. Oh, okay. Are you really trying to put me to work? Yeah, have fun. Ooh, Lord. I guess y'all, see, this this kind of stuff make me feel like I'm a real chef. See, I don't know why this show is called My Wife Can't Cook, because y'all probably don't know I can really cook. I can really get down by cutting a carrot. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting it good. So we need all of that. So have fun. All right. So I'm gonna get start getting some things ready. We also okay. have to get our celery ready. So while you're doing that, I'm now, gonna get the celery ready. Now, guys, you can you know this is just the way that we doing it, but you can do whatever works for you. And if you think, and if you want to know where I got this pillar from, um, this came from Amazon, I believe. The same way we have our carrots in long strips, and we have our, uh, what else we have on our cabbage in long strips, I want to kind of get my celery going the same way. Nice, thin, long, long strips. All right, so that's looking good. All right, so I'm okay. going to get this. Now, what about the bean sprouts? These bean sprouts, did we get these from? Now, these are the oh. things we see in... Bok choy, right? Is it bok choy? No, I don't know what you're talking you about. You know, the, um... See, that's why it's called My Wife Can't Cook. Bok choy is a vegetable, too, right? Yeah, but this is normally in there, isn't it? No, I don't know. No? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, but this is in the rice and stuff. You know, when they go back and play the video, they're going to flash that sign on you. It's just bean sprouts. You see this that? This goes in there, too, Like, right? when you get fried rice a lot of times from the store, yeah, you it's can dump that on there. All right. We got some... And onion. You have some onion, onion here. There. So we cut the onions up already. And we got to cook all this together? We're going to cook all of this together really quickly. And you see, I just cut the onions in strips as well. They're going to come apart automatically inside there. Oh, the onion is strong. Yeah. So that was just a yellow Ooh. onion. I think you could add a little bit of green. If you want. I'm also going to put the garlic in there as well. I want to show them this little... Uh, look, y'all. Look, this thing looks like a little... um. It looks like shower cat. So, but it, but these you, you you can buy them small so they go over like your um your bowls and stuff. They buy for your food. You just put it right over top. So the first time I saw her with this in the fridge, I'm like, I know you don't have no shower cap in my refrigerator. <laughs> she was like, no, that was, really? yeah. So she actually you, told me about that. One. Really, I know I'm a bad cook, but I ain't that bad. But I so didn't you know what it was. A shower cap in the refrigerator. Well, it was a convenient idea. It's the same thing as a shower cap. So I thought it was pretty cool. Now we got to get all this inside of our pot. pot. We have our water boiling already. I'm gonna make sure it's turned up high, real quick. Uh -oh. Okay. And we're gonna dump it in there. Yeah. Let me turn them both up real quick. Okay. All right. I'll dump it. What has to go in that other one? All right. Wait real quick because it's not gonna be a long process, right? Okay. So let's get let's have the ice water ready. I will wait. Upon the I'm getting the ice water ready because okay. it's not going to be in there too long. So you just, like it's like a blanching, you're blanching it? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, let's get a sp big spoon ready. Okay. Now I think you can put it in. Yeah, but I may need to um, put it in because it might splash so hot. Well, that water's hot. Yeah. See? Ooh. Alright, there we go. It's all in there. So the good thing about cabbage, cabbage is cheap, so it's a good filler. You can take it back now. So I'm going to put it down in here. Our water is going to boil. I'm going to leave it in for a good minute, only because I turned the water down a tad. So I want to make sure that we wash it. So it's all about when it starts to wilt. Let's get some fire closer to us on the other eye. All right, so we have some fire here. And what's going in there? We're going to put our shrimp over here. Boil Yep. The short set. That's hot. Okay, now let me grab the shrimp. Where'd you put it at? Alright, so before you put the shrimp in. Where'd you put it in? The shrimp are over there. Okay. Before you put the shrimp in, let's get your ice bath ready for them as well. So you've got some ice over there. Mm -hmm. Let's have that ready. Water in it? Yeah, put a little water in the ice. So as you can see, this water was really hot. I mix everything up. It's easier to mix it when it's in water. So we got our carrots, we got our onions, we got everything all in this bath. And it's looking all right, really good. I have good. my shrimp bath here. Okay, so 
Let's put your shrimp in there for a few minutes, and when they come out, we're going to cut them up. Okay. All right. Now, I'm just going, I, I can't, because I don't want that hot water to splash. Okay. So I'm just going to take the tongs and put them in. No problem. Are we going to season these or nothing? No. We're going to mix it in, and we're going to season it. Okay. See, they start to turn pink really quick. Yeah. We want them to curl up, and... We're going to be good to go after that. My grease is already hot, so that's looking good. Right. right. You want to get them in a little faster. So they can cook all around relatively the same temperature. Right. This all right, so I'm going to start taking mine out. You're going to take yours out in a sec. Okay, give me my tongue. All right. I would use a spoon to take them out because okay. we want to get it... Uh, Okay. I'm going to get them out quickly. All right. right. So I'm looking at mine. I'm also watching the texture. Right. I got some onions and things in here. I want all of them to make sure that they're going to be wilted and soft and easy to work with. I can tell already that when I'm moving this around, they're getting softer. Yeah. All right. They look a little wilted. Absolutely. And you can, you're starting to get, you can take yours out. We're starting to get some smells already. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take this out. You see, look at the steam popping from it. You can see that it's starting to get translucent. I'm going to drop it all in this ice to cool it down so it can stop cooking now. Okay. And I can, oh, it smells, it smells like an egg roll. Right? It does. You smell it, you smell the onion and the garlic, all of that smell. Oh, it smells good already. It's ready. All right. And I know with all these shrimp, you're going to have a lot of shrimp inside of our egg roll. Now, a lot of people don't eat pork, but uh, when you mix the pork and shrimp together in there, that's a really good, good one. Okay, mine's is all set. Okay. Bring it over here. Yep, so make sure you got them all mixed in that water so they can start to cool down. So now all I'm trying to do is get the rest of this out. You want me to take the shrimp over here? Yep. Uh, let me give you one second. So, this pot is I guess hot. that was the hardest part, right? Yeah, that was the hardest part. Yeah. All right. That was the hardest part getting that in there. What you straining? The rest of the water. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get every piece of the, uh, every piece of that out. So now I got so all of it. Now we got it all out. So the because you know the garlic is floating to Ooh, the bottom. It smell like, um, it smells good, right? Mm -hmm. It smells like an egg roll. <laughs> so I've got a strainer here. I gotta transfer all of my ingredients over to this bowl. Alright. Alright, let me move. I'm gonna I'm gonna move out your way. So normally they'll have a bigger bowl and they will take in use some chopsticks and push it over but you see not too bad yeah so i'm going to push all the water out transfer it to another bowl so and because the key is to keep every all the ingredients dry right right well keep in mind i'm going to wring this out again i'm just getting it out of this all the water i don't want it to keep absorbing water i'm not going to put any salt on here right now because if i put salt on there it's going to absorb water. And this cabbage looks good. Good job. You could take that cabbage, man, I'm telling you, put some cayenne pepper on it and it'll be good just like this. You won't have to do anything else. I'll strain it over the sink. Okay. I'm still taking my shrimp out. Okay. I'm trying to get all the water out. I don't want the water to transfer. Okay, I got you. It's okay with that because we're going to we're going to chop those shrimp up. Okay. All right. So. All set. Okay. So now I want to take my cloth and wring out and wring out. I'm gonna wring out the rest of the moisture. And if you want, you can chop up your shrimp a little, but don't chop it too much. You know. How you want me to chop it? Just a little bit. You okay. got it. You know, even, you know. Chop them all up? All, yeah, they don't all have to be the same exact size. So chop them a couple of different ways. So let me put this across here like this. And then I'm going to pull it tight, flip it over. 
Like this big? Uh -huh. Like that? Yeah. Okay. You know, it's no perfect size or anything like that. Yeah, but I know how you do. You, you like well, don't make them too small. That's what we talked about, not making it too small. You like stuff a certain way. Yeah. Oh. Even pack it in a little bit more. Now I can wrap it a little bit tighter now that we got a lot of the moisture out. And then I'm going to come right here with it and twist it. Oh. You fancy. All right, now we're left with all cabbage and all flavor. This no is a lot shrimp. of shrimp here. Yeah, so we're not going to put all of them shrimp in there. All right, let me get my clear bowl now. Okay, that's good. That's good? Yeah, that's better than good. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to even use all of that. So you can, you can just leave it there for a second. Okay. All right, so let's dump all our mix in here. You see, we got all the moisture out. I'm gonna break it up a little bit. Oh, and it looks again, party, it looks party. You see how it's nice and stringy? Think about when you break open that egg roll, nice and stringy. Yeah. There's no big pieces in here. The onions are all broke up. Everything looks good. Yeah. It's nice and pretty. Now, you give put the shrimp, shrimp in there? Just yeah. dump it all in there. No, I'm not gonna dump it all in there because we got to have some space to, in that egg roll. If we make it too thick, all right. Now, if we can get rid of this. Let me put that back in the bowl. Okay. All right. So now, now we're going to put some of our flavor in here. Okay. So, you gave me some garlic powder. Yes. I think I need a little bit more. You want more garlic powder? Maybe. I'm going to wait on the salt. I'm going to add a little bit of our adobo season. And you could put... Whatever seasonings you like in there, I would say. I'm going to put a little bit of our whatever, whatever you, like. you like in there. Did you give me some pepper? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had the white pepper. I got the white pepper. I like a little or black pepper. pepper to taste whichever one you need. Okay, after the white pepper, I got some sesame oil here. And you putting the rice vinegar in there? I'm going to put a splash of the rice vinegar. Not too much, so just a little splash. And then oil. I'm going to put the soy sesame, sauce. Uh, soy sauce. Ooh. A couple splashes of soy sauce, and then I'm going to get a good mixture going. You need a spoon? Where's the spoon? I got a splash, looks good. But I really, I really want to just put my hand in there. Right, put your hand in there. <clears throat> Uh, That's what you would do. So Let's put your hand in there. Get, go get in there. I'm good. Go for it. So, of course, whenever you make anything, you get your mix. You can't open it back up and add anything afterwards. Yeah, once you seal it. Yeah, so make sure. The only thing let I didn't... Get, let me get them ready. The only thing I didn't add was the salt. Okay. So, we're going to... When we get done rolling these, we're going to fry them twice. So let's roll a couple to have them ready. And then okay. I think we'll start with four just for the <laughs> show. You got to eat some of this. Eat some. You got to taste it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Tastes good. Mm. I think it needs a little pepper. And... The one thing that's gonna make everything I gotta add some chicken or something that eat that without even. One thing that's gonna make everything come alive is the salt. So we can add the salt now. Because we're almost ready to roll. Okay. Alright. I'll mix it up again. Yep. And if you want mine, a pinch of garlic. That's, garlic powder? Yeah, garlic powder. I'm gonna add a mm -hmm. little bit more. And we have maybe a teeny bit more than six cups. Just a pinch. That's it. Perfect. All right. Let it go. And we got a nice amount of shrimp in there. You can see the shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right. And you saw our texture wasn't mushy at all on the cabbage. Mm -mm. I think that's it. All right. Now you have to crack your eggs, right? Yeah. And you said something that we don't, if we don't, 
If they don't use egg wash, they can use something else to seal it? Yeah, you can use uh, cornstarch and water. Okay. So you just mix a little cornstarch and water together, wet your fingers, and put it around the tips. I'm going to use a beaten egg for mine. All right. There you go, sir. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure my counter is nice and dry right here. Nice and dry. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. That a little more. Got my checking my oil, make sure my oil's ready. So I got it at about it says. And we're deep frying these. We're deep frying these. So we have ours in the deep fryer. I need something to set them on once I roll them. All right, so let's get started. So I got one here, flour side down. I'm gonna take the egg wash and go around every single corner. All right. It don't have to be a certain way. That's, That's it, no, there's no certain way. Get it around the corners, leave that in there. Let's get a nice helping of this. You always need a little bit more than you think you're going to need. I see some shrimp in there. All right. All right. It looks good. So That's going to be I'm pressing it. I want to wipe my hands so there's nothing on the edges. And then I'm going to take it from one corner. I'm going to pull it that way. Fold it. That's nice and tight, right? All my corners are nice and tight. Then I'm going to take that over there. Fold it over, oh, fold it over again. Let's make sure that guy is nice and tight in there. And I'm gonna roll in. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Gently down. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, so let me see how this one feels. This one feels a little better. So I can tell that one wasn't as soft as it should have been because it was over by the oven. Um, so I was wondering, like I said, you know, this guy feels a little different than it should. I think it's this one's a lot better now. Okay. Mm, this stuff smells good. This mixture here. While he's doing that, um, right. oh, we'll wait till. Yeah, let's wait a second because these are going to go in the fryer for about. Let's talk about that then. These are going to go in the fryer for about seven minutes. And then once they cook to about lightly golden, we're going to take them out. They need time to cook all the way through. So that's why they're going to be in there for seven minutes. And we're going to take it out. Once we have them all golden, then the, when we're ready to serve, we're going to drop them back in the fry, fryer. And we're going to turn our fryer up on high that time. When we turn it up on high, we're just looking for color now. So you see how this one, he's rolling a little bit better than yeah. the other one. The other one was a little more stiff. Yeah, because they were sitting next to the stove. So he's covered real good. It's a little smaller than I would expect. Too bad. Tuck him. Let me try one, babe. Okay. Let me see. Okay. You said flower side down. Yep. Okay. A little egg wash on the edges. Uh, but you want that's fine that you're doing it that way, but you see do it on the side of the brush because then it's not as well like Yeah, no, no. so we're coming down the edge. Oh, okay. You know, you went in a little far. It's fine All right, All right. so Let me have some I'm gonna stick my hand in there All right. So it's about two tablespoons that we're putting in each one. Okay Is that enough? This enough be Yes. Okay. And push I don't think I'm going to piece of shrimp in here. You don't think I need enough uh, piece of shrimp? one on the bottom. Okay. You're looking good. No, you got to fold your edges over now. Oh, yeah. All right. You're getting it. Fold it down and roll. This is tiny. This is Why am I so tiny? On. Yours was so big. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Yours was really big. 
Mine's all tiny. So now we're gonna put those in a deep fryer. Uh, yeah, let's put them in a deep fryer. And then while we got them in a deep fryer, we'll do two cheesesteak ones real quick. How about that? Okay. All right, so let's go over to the deep fryer. Now, when these come out the deep fryer, you don't wanna put them on paper towel. You wanna to put these on a rack. You see, I have the rack. The oil can drain down and it can remain crispy all over. All right, so I'm gonna take my uh, rack out, drop them in. Now, while they're frying, they are going to begin to float. So I'm going to set another basket on top of them to keep them down. Okay. So let's watch the time now. All right. Now, I'm going to rinse my hands off since I touched my phone. So, yeah, so now we got get ready to do the cheesesteak ones. Yep. Now, these ones I probably want to eat. All right. Because I already tasted that. Now, we have chicken cheesesteak here, but you can use... Um, the regular steak meat, if you want, but we have some, bon what is it, boneless skinless chicken with some onions. Um, all right, so this is old neighborhood shaved chicken. So it comes in shaved chicken or it comes in shaved beef. Basically, like if you were to prepare a cheesesteak, right? Okay. Oh, so yeah. it's that thin shaved meat. Yeah. This is a brand called Old Neighborhood. Well, I bought it at ShopRite. I believe they sell it everywhere. I'm using American cheese because I like American cheese with my cheesesteak. I didn't buy slices. I bought the cheese ends. Cheese ends is cheap. It's going to get cut up and put in here anyway. So okay. I use what I what was affordable. But you can use whatever you have. So whatever um, you like. <laughs> I think I want to cut my it. cheese up a little bit more. All right. So you you want to put? So and we I chopped oh, wait, that I a little bit. Oh, I on the time. Yep. That's nowhere near the time anyway. I know, but. So I'm gonna put my egg wash back again on there. Probably like five minutes. Right. It was 7:28 when I actually keep eye on the time. Okay, so I'm gonna okay. take my cheese. So these were. A little or you can lay. I would have just laid the the other cheese down in there. The you, thin slice that's over there. You could. There. I want some clumps, and I don't want it to ooze out. All right, I'm gonna get some chicken. And I put chicken, onion, adobo. My wife can't cook adobo, and I put the uh, what my wife can't cook whatever you like seasoning on there. So now I'm gonna take that. Well, you make. Let me try to make one. Okay. I'm gonna wrap that up real good. I'm gonna make sure that that goes in. All right. In again. All right. Well, there we go. All right. And nice and you could do it. You could do it. All right, so I'll set this to the side. Let me see. Let me show you how the, how the chefs do it. Let me show you how the real chef do it. The real chef is here now. Let me show you how to do okay. this. Okay. <laughs> so I'll cut some cheese up. Let me you. show you how to do it. I'm really, all right. All right. Let me something to do. Use the phone, it's fine. Check on these egg rolls. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take my husband's lead and go ahead and wrap this baby, this bad boy up. Okay. Get the sides in. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at that. Great. It's like gravy, baby. Okay. It's like gravy. Keep going. See, I told you I could do it. All right, be careful. See, so you're breaking it. I'm not. Yeah, right there, you got a little hole. But it's okay, because it's right underneath, so you're good. All right, so we're going to take the other ones out now, right? Yeah. I'm going to come back over here for a sec. I'm going to remove my basket that I had on there holding them down. As you can see, they look exactly how we want them to look. Nice and golden brown. Let me have some tongues. That right, but they're not as dark as we would want them, right? But they do look really good. So we're taking them out, and then when all of them are finished, when all of them are finished and ready to go, then that's when we'll put them in and we'll put it at a higher temperature. 
Now we're putting the cheesesteak ones. And when we put the cheesesteak ones, we want to come over here so we can announce our channel. So, guys, I posted an announcement today and about our new channel on Roku. We are now have our own channel on Roku. We are so excited about what God is doing and how he's just growing this group. You know, he's just doing some amazing things. And, you know, we're excited. We got to watch it last night, me and my husband and I, and we love the channel. So we just wanted to possibly go over the channel really quickly to show you. If you come on our uh, TV here, if you um, I'll turn around to our TV here, if you have the Roku, um, if you have the Roku, you can go. This is Roku. This is the app, right? And you just go to, you can either search My Wife Can't Cook or you can um, type it in. You yeah, search it or see, ours just already came up. So, because we already watched it. And you can go here. Oh, we got two ratings. Uh oh. Let me see for a Who? second. We got two ratings, five stars. Search channels. Search channels. Let's put it in and you. We could type it in, even though ours already came up, because we already had it on there. And then the space. It should pop up. There it is. Alright. So really you don't so have to type you, that many letters. Yeah, after you put a couple in, it's gonna automatically pop up. Now I will say if you go over to Walmart. You could go to Walgreens, you could go to CVS, you could go to any local store. Mm -hmm. And once you get to that store, you go look in their electronic section, you're going to find a Roku, Roku stick. Um, just like a fire stick, same type of thing. This Roku stick cost me about 20 bucks. They have some for $17. And you also could get the apps on your mobile device. And once you get the channel, you can easily go to the channel and all of the videos that we have recorded thus far are oh, already there. up there yes you can go you can play and you have all the channels there so Absolutely. We're, we're very all the shows, easy very easy exciting so we just thank god for all your support um he's continued like i said he continued to grow the group and we have some more exciting news but we'll hold off for that until a little later maybe the next show we'll announce that so now um, we're, we're going to make some hot mustard. We're going to go ahead and move forward with our egg rolls here. And our, I'm sorry, our shrimp rolls. How was our cheesesteak rolls doing? Our cheesesteak rolls are looking really good. They still need a few more minutes, but they're coming along really well. I don't see anything mm -hmm. that has leaked out of our rolls. So that's a good sign. They are sealed tight okay. and they are trying to float up to the top. So I'm making sure that I'm doing my best to keep them down. Okay, awesome. So while they're, they're doing that, let's go ahead and make the hot mustard. All right, I'm coming right over. I was going to get a measuring spoon. I typically probably wouldn't even measure this. So I have one tablespoon here. I have some English mustard. This brand is the Coleman's uh, English mustard. This is probably one of the most famous ones that's around. And this is a really simple recipe for hot mustard. I actually couldn't believe how simple it was. So I have a tablespoon there. I'm going to put half of the mixture in and I'm going to get some cold, let me get some cold water first. Okay. So I can add a little at a time. Do we need to take the shrimp rolls, the egg? No, they're good. Okay. They're good. All right. Okay. So the trick with this hot mustard is, is that you need cold water to activate it. If you put warm water in, it's not going to have the same effect. So we're going to put a little bit of our mixture in. I was going to say about half of it in. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of cold water and we're going to mix it with a spoon. As simple as that. Nothing fancy. Like that? It's going to get hot. It's going to get tangy. It's going wow. to taste really good. I'm going to put the rest of it in now and I'm going to keep on mixing it. And this don't come out already? No. Well, how does the well, work? I mean, it's mustard, so mustard does have a little tangy. Yeah, but I'm talking about like when I tasted the other day, it was kind of spicy. Right, so you got to let it sit for a couple minutes. So I think we're going to need more for later, but this will get us started for now so that we can taste, yeah. taste it. I got it mixed really well, and then I'm going to just sit it to the side for about 10 minutes, and that's it. Wow. So you have to use this Coleman's mustard? Yes, or you have to use English mustard. 
English mustard yeah. or Coleman? And that's mustard powder. So mustard English powder. mustard powder. Okay. And that's really it. I'm going to have to go and take out our egg rolls real quick. Though. Okay. Do you want me to bring the ingredients for the duck sauce? Over? Yep. You can do that. All so right. we have apricot. All right. So where's the sugar at first? Right here. All right. So whenever I'm putting hot water, I'm putting granulated oh, yeah. sugar or something, I want to put the hot water first so that it can dissolve, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. All right? This is the first time I'm making this, so there's a lot of different variations of it. I guess I need a measuring cup. Yeah. So, but this is, this is, is this the tangy one or is this going to be? Uh, let's make sure I got enough. So for the hot water, I'm going to only need about six ounces of sand. So is this going to be a tangy one? or? I don't know. This is the first time I'm trying it. So I'm going to put this about six ounces of hot water in the sugar and whisk it a little bit, let it dissolve. Now, here's the thing. You could make this a couple different ways. I've seen people, it's good, don't worry, it'll be all right. What's this loud? Um, after they put their apricot preserves in there, they usually get like a tangy pickle. You got a carrot on your face. A tangy pickle apricot and a little bit of the juice from that in there. So that'll give it, um, you know, that little kind of uh, tang. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I don't have pickle apricots. I'm going to put a little bit of ginger in there. That's going to help give me that tang that I'm looking for today. Okay. I'm going to also add some uh, you know, apricot preserves. Apricot preserves. I'm going to add some soy sauce in there. I'm going to add a little bit of that rice wine that we had earlier. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt. Yeah. And I'm going to give it a little whisk. Now, that hot water is going to help break up some of those apricots, that pork apricot. Right. So do you have to cook that? No. You have to let it sit for a couple minutes. Oh yeah, because it's sticking in. Yeah, but I want to taste it first. Mm, that's, that's pretty good. I think I need a pinch of this in there. Just a pinch. And uh, you gotta take. Uh, you gotta put those back in, babe. Yep. Okay. I need to turn the oil back to high now. Alright, I'm going to add a pinch more ginger to it. Alright, whisk it up real good and just let it sit. Okay. Alright, and let's start clearing out some of these dishes so that we can be ready when our egg rolls come out. Alright, that's it. Alright, we got a bowl here. I'm going to pour this in yeah. that bowl. And we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, because it looks real thin. Yep, but as we let it sit, it'll be fine. We're ready for our egg rolls. So I'm excited. I got our oil turned up on high now. We can get rid of all of this. Mm -hmm. And you want to drop those bad boys back in. So the grease is on high, and I'm going to... Just drop them in there. Yeah, I'm gonna put them back, back in the grease. And while I'm putting it back in the grease, I'm looking for uh, that dark golden brown now. Okay. All right. So we've got some hot mustard here. We've got so let's some duck out. sauce. Well, let's wait for our food. We got a couple seconds for our food to come out. Yeah. Okay, we can wait. So are we ready to take it out? Yeah. Now, you know, you can make, and this for the side, you can make rice or you can make, you know, a side dish tonight. We didn't have a side dish with ours tonight. We just are making the shrimp and shrimp rolls and egg rolls. So which one is which? You, did you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to leave it here for a second. And we made a mistake last week of trying to try these as soon as they came out. And... They are too hot. But let's examine it for a little bit. How about we do that while we let them cool down? Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's nothing leaking out. It looks golden, dark brown. You know, one of the things that we have an issue with when you go pick them up from the takeout, 
is they're greasy. You you put it, they have them in those little mm. wax bags, and you can see the grease just falling out the bottom. Mm. So these just came out the grease, and they look pretty good. I want to say that this one that looks like you can see a little bit more oil is probably the cheesesteak one because the cheese. So we're going to cut them open in a second. I want to let them cool off so we don't burn ourselves. Yes. <laughs> We need a knife so we can cut them open. I'm, but should I spoon out a little bit of this now? Is this? Let me see how is this sticking. Well, up? we're gonna we're gonna put it right on um, right on our food, so we can wait a second. Okay. Well, we need to get a knife so we can cut this open. What you looking for? Oh, cutting board right here. All right. Which one you want to go for first? It don't matter. Okay. Because we really don't know which is which. Right. That's a cheesesteak one. Oh, cheese that looks so one. good. Cheesesteak melted really good. Wow. That's wow. your part. Is it okay. hot? Oh, it's hot. It's hot. So let me get you a little something for that. I yeah. think you would want ketchup. Wow. No, sriracha. Oh, Lord, you with the sriracha. Not no ketchup. Well, that first we gotta good. taste it just like it is first. All right, let's taste it. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of hot, baby. It's hot. Really, really hot. Well, I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna burn myself. Well, if you put a little ketchup, it won't be as hot. But we'll cut that it's one really open. good. Be careful. The cheese is melted. Oh, and I'm pretty sure you can hear that crunch, right? Mm. This is it. Mm -hmm. I think I want another cheesesteak one. I'm double dipping, y'all. This is my husband's stuff, so I can do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is really good. Look at that. Look at the cheese combination with the meat inside. Look at all that. And it's not too oily or nothing like that. No, I don't see any oil Me dripping. Me neither. All right. Okay. No way. Look at that. Nice Ooh. and tight. Yes, Looks nice good. and tight. Sealed. Can you smell it? You, oh, they can't they smell can't it. They can't smell it. <laughs> I can't smell it. But, they can't. you know, I want uh, my food to have aroma. I want it to have that aroma. Aromatic. Yeah, I want it to be aromatic. I want it to be just like if I got it from the store, but better. So, I'm Side, going to go for, sale, deliver. I'm yours. You know something? I, I was supposed to put inside of this, I think, a pinch of this. So, let me do that. That's what I was missing. Oh, you had to put that in there? It looks kind of watery. It's supposed to be like Yeah, that? it's supposed to sit for five minutes. We didn't really give it the time. Okay. So, a little bit longer. All right, well, okay. let's taste it with this. We're going to taste it with both, so... I'm not gonna give you a lot because it's yeah, because it opens up your pores, your nostrils. Yeah. It's hot. That mustard has a gives you a zing. Well, it's almost like wasabi. The mustard's intense. Mm-hmm. Um, um, it's hot, right? Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. Tastes like the store. I could use a little more salt. I was being conservative on the salt. No, I'm good. It's, it's, you know me, I'm not a salt person, but. Well. I'll tell you what, that was good. Mm -hmm. I like them both. Well, folks. Well. That is our wrap for the mm -hmm. cheesesteak and shrimp egg rolls. Good job. Another one in the box. Mm hmm. Um, thank you for always coming on and showing us how to um, do different No stuff. problem. I tell you what, I do like having these better at home. I probably have some food on my face. Mm -hmm. Better at home than in a restaurant. It takes a little bit more time to prepare, but I think you could make a couple of these ahead of time, do your light fry on them, and then freeze them. And then when it's time to cook them, all you got to do is drop them in that really hot grease get the golden color and let them um, get warm all the way through. Don't forget to like, subscribe, go check us out on Roku now. You can rate us on there as well. Yes. Check us out on YouTube where you can subscribe and like and continue to follow us in the group. Check us out on Instagram as well. Yes. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next week.